Let's write some test cases in aligned elements. Testing is an integral part of medical device development and in aligned elements, we let you set up your own test case types depending on the device you're developing. So you can set up hardware tests, software tests, automated tests, validations, etc., depending on your needs and your QMS. It is, however, always the case that Aligned Elements separates the test case from the test results. So these are different items in Aligned Elements. We write our test cases once and reuse them as we execute the tests on different versions of our device to create new results. Now, if we take a look at a test case item, we can see that it looks pretty much like any design control item in Aligned Elements. It has an ID, it's under revision control, it has traces and inconsistencies, and foremost, it has a number of data fields where you can enter your test setup and instruction data. Uh, this test instruction tables on the bottom is meant for you to write down the sequence of test steps using rich texts. And you can use this toolbar to operate on these rows like reordering, copying, pasting, and deleting these test cases. Tracing to a test case is done using the regular trace mechanisms. So if I want to trace this test case from a requirement, I go to trace from, select requirements, and we can see that there's currently three requirements tracing to this particular test case. We can, of course, also go to the design input requirements and trace from here, or generate test cases using the generate function, which automatically creates a new test case and automatically sets a trace from that requirement to the test case. A really quick way of writing new test cases. Analyzing test case coverage is done using trace tables. So let me go here to the trace table for design input requirements and take a look at requirements tracing to test cases. So we can see these are the current traceability. There are some gaps here, meaning that we need to work more on those test cases, either writing new ones or trace to existing ones. We can also run an inconsistency analysis on our requirements to find any missing traces to test cases. Let's do that. I go to um, display inconsistencies, include all subchapters. I'm only interested in missing traces. And we can see that the system found these gaps where we expect requirements to trace two new uh, verification test cases.